system. And then we'll talk about farming and, you know, kind of kind of what that is and what it entails and, and some ideas that might work out best for us. So, you know, so again, we'll, we'll kind of go through all of that. So, you know, what and I kind of quickly mentioned them as I as I went through. So what or who is your sphere of influence? So, you know, definitely family members. So often some of the toughest to, you know, like, how do I tell them without thinking, um, you know, at, you know, asking for a favor, or, you know, needing something. So, you know, family members is one friends, uh, you know, another tough one, you know, you're not going to go out you know, for a drink or dinner or meet up with them somewhere. And you're not going to just plan out like, are you looking to buy or sell? Who's looking to buy or sell, you know, but there are ways that you, you know, we have to find a way to tell both of those first two that you sell real estate because they are of, of anybody else. They are the ones that, you know, if we do it in the way we need to, or the way we understand, we know our family, we are friends. If we tell them, there isn't a single one of them that's going to go, um, no, nope, you know, but the issue is, is when we don't tell them, we will often find out, you know, down the road, like, oh man, I, I didn't realize, or I forgot, you know, that you were in real estate. So, you know, it's, and it's not just them. It's, you know, we, we start, you know, sort of the Facebook theory when your friend, when, you know, when they know, guess what? Their friends know. And their friends, friends know, and the folks they work with know, you know, so it just immediately opens up our sphere to all we need is someone to go to work or see someone or they go out with friends and hear one person go, we're looking or we're thinking of selling. And then you need one of your family members and friends or really your entire sphere to just go, hey, you have to talk to Matt. You know, like he's my what whatever he is, you know, but that's really where it starts. We, we need to have that conversation. We need them to know what it means. I'm not just doing this real estate thing because I'm bored. You know, I'm doing it, you know, as a as a career move and, and I need your help to grow my business. So that's kind of that concept behind, um, you know, actually asking folks uh, for your essentially for your help. So um and I click the next one, members of groups and organizations you belong to. I'm going to kind of go through these, then we'll, we'll kind of continue this chat. Former colleagues, so people have you, you've worked with, people, you know, that you went to school with, um, you know, you will go get your hair cut, you'll go to the dentist, you'll go to the doctor, right, you know, like, so really just, you know, I mean, now we get into, like, the folks that are in your, you know, if you go to the same hairstylist, you know, obviously we go to the doctor and the dentist and the dry cleaner, you know, like those people, you know, see you, know you, well, they become part of your sphere. Again, you're not going to be in, you know, walking to get your hair cut and go, hey, are you looking to buy or sell? But you better believe every time I go to get my hair cut, guess what comes up? You know, especially I actually, I end up doing it and Cleveland, when I'm in Cleveland, sometimes I get my hair cut in Florida, uh, you know, wherever I am, you know, like expect, you know, then if I don't know them, they're like, oh, what do you do? I'm like, hey, I'm in real estate, you know, I just start that conversation. So, and if it's someone that you're, you know, that, that you go to consistently, then it's like, I go to my doctor and he's like, hey, how's business? I'm like, cool. You actually started the conversation. So, you know, so again, it, you know, it's not always, are you looking to buy or sell? But when the conversation comes up, all I have to do is go, okay, they know I'm in real estate, you know, so I'm kind of setting that groundwork. Neighbors, service providers, you know, that if, you know, if the same electrician or plumber, you know, any of those folks come, you know, come to you, um, you know, they are immediately part of essentially the family. So, you know, anyone you know and who knows you. So then I'll take it to, you know, folks that you went to school with, uh, their parents, uh, you know, just, just, just everybody sort of becomes part of your little world when you become a real estate agent because every one of them can lead to a deal. You know, and again, if it's not them, it's maybe their neighbor, you know, maybe a friend of theirs. So, and, and then their, you know, like one person has this whole group separate. And then the uh, second person has each one of these. So, you know, it quickly becomes, uh, you know, the, the, the 50 people become 250, become a thousand, you know, that type of, uh, you know, um, circle. And, you know, once we have that conversation and figure out a way to let every one of them know, hey, this is what I do and remind them, then, then you just, you know, the goal is, is like, okay, I just want everybody realizing what I do. 
Um, and hopefully if one of them say something or needs something, one of, you know, one of my sphere says, hey, I have someone you should at least chat with, you know, and then, and then throw my name in the ring. So, so I'm going to pause for just a second and just see if anybody has any, you know, any questions, any thoughts, um, anybody want to unmute themselves and just sort of throw out, you know, what, what your thoughts are when you have to tell a family member or a friend that you're in real estate. I'd love to, you know, if anybody wants to unmute themselves. So Melissa, just shared with my hairdresser and neighbor this week, challenging myself to do six new contacts a day. So seriously cool, Melissa. And it's, you know, you know, it, it's not the easiest thing because, because you know, I, I literally have been doing this myself for 11 years. But, you know, when I traveled the country, every single day I would hear like, oh, how, come on, how do I, you know, like, I'm not going to walk up to my family member and just blat out or, you know, it's like that. Yeah, you're right. Like, I have to find a way to tell, you know, folks. But, you know, the one thing you will always hear from me is, secret agents don't last in the business. You will not last if you just magically think folks are gonna appear at your door, you know? So I, I cannot be a secret agent. But the one thing I quickly realized is, is I know what I need to do. And I, and I figured out like, how do I tell my family members? How do I tell my friends? And then, and then everybody else. And some of it's social and some of it's handwritten notes and some of it's jokes. Like I'll joke with my family, like, you know, Hey, you know, you guys better, you know, better use me and better refer me out and tell your friends and family. And, you know, it's just, but we, but we have to figure out a way to, you know, to make sure they all know about it. And Matt says, I'm, I'm staying really visible on social media. Um, you know, sort of telling everybody about it And I got one listing from telling family. So, you know, and, and again, that's, you know, it's like, oh man, how do I do it? And then, then you actually, you know, kind of put it out there, um, you know, and, and folks, and then you get some, you know, you get something from it and you're like, oh man, <laughs> you know, it actually worked. So, um, uh, so yeah, try to hand out. Okay. I add, so I, I've met you. Is it, I add, tell me if that's. <laughs> yeah. It's, I add. Yeah, yeah. Close enough. yeah. So I try to hand out at least three business cards a day to people, regardless if I know them or not. That's awesome. Whether it's a long lost friend or a complete stranger. So, you know, um, yeah, the business cards are super cheap. So if you're ever going to, you know, spend whatever it is, 50 bucks for, you know, for 500 of whatever that number is. And, and you, you know, I was always told like, you're, you know, you're out somewhere and, and you got to check you know, like pay the bill and then leave one there and then leave one on a table somewhere. So, you know, totally cool. So I love that you guys are, are you know, kind of already on the path. And if you're not, and you haven't started doing something yet, those are awesome ideas. So, you know, um, you know, biggest fear that I've heard, you know, throughout my, you know, I say, you know, career so far um, is, you know, oh my gosh, the fear of hopping on the call. So, you know, um, yeah, it's it's a fear, but man, once you start it, you know, you, you kind you can get easily get in a rhythm and get some folks to you know to to sort of realize and you know, um, but but social is without a doubt. Uh, you know, we have the ability to text. I love the phone call. I love 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 the phone call. Um, you know, just to chat with someone and and see how they're doing and what are you doing? Oh, I'm in real estate. You know that type of thing. So, um, and then Roger, you know, uh, I don't. I don't know if you guys can see, but, you know, you know, ERA tires is crazy. I mean, it, it's, you know, if you're hanging out with friends or family, like, or, or walking through a store or, or, you know, just, just kind of seeing that complete stranger, you know, this, this is like, yeah, I'm in real estate and I didn't have to say a word. I did not have to say a word. Someone just looked at my shirt and went, oh, ERA real estate, you know? So that's without a doubt, Rod, that's awesome, Roger, to, to kind of throw that out there as that option to, you know, to having a conversation or whatever. So, oh, awesome. Yeah. I, I mean, I have quarter zips and coats and polos and t-shirts and, you know, you know, it's just kind of whatever your, you know, whatever fits you, but you know, um, you know, sort of having that is, is just one piece of another way. So, you know, wear this, have your business cards, 
um, you know, and then sort of be on social and, and have those conversations, you know, without a doubt, you know, super important for us to, to just continue that and just make it a job, you know, a job to make sure that you're telling folks every single day you're in real estate. So um, again, you know, if I don't tell anyone I'm in real estate, man, I better, you know, I'm either going to go buy a bunch of leads and spend a bunch of money that I may not have to, or, you know, or I'm going to miss out on business. So, and, and it's, and it's pretty, you know, it's not the easiest thing to hear. Um, you, you will, it will come across your desk at some point where, where someone, you know, you kind of walk up to someone in, in that group, you know, family, friend, neighbor, something, you'll, you'll see a sign in the yard for another real estate agent, um, you know, for a house two doors down, um, you know, some sort of friend or family will come up and, and then realize you're, you know, that you are in real estate and, and like, they're going to freeze and then you're going to be like, uh, excuse me. And they're going to be like, ah. Oh. You know, and all I ever said, if I heard that was, you know, it, it happens once, twice, you know, whatever, it, it's something you can't control everybody, you know, but man, you walk away going, that cannot happen again. I, you know, like that person, if they knew I was in real estate or realized or remembered, they would have, you know, they would have said, oh, well, I have to go to, to, to Maui. Like, why wouldn't I go to Maui? Or at least hand Maui's card out to one of my friends, you know? Um, so it, again, it, it, they're, they're, it can't have a foolproof plan. I mean, you know, people, you know, it's just, they're, they're getting hit with agents left, right, social, you know, whatever. So, but the goal is, is, man, I did everything I could. I, I, I you know, I told Annette last week I was in real estate. If, you know, man, if I did that and, you know, it didn't work out, it didn't work out, you know, but the idea is, is, you know, to, to kind of lose that and go, you know, I haven't talked to Annette in, you know, months and, and I never told her I was in real estate or I didn't remind her. Well, that's one where you have to, you know, sort of look at yourself and go, not going to happen again. So, yeah, and that, so once the subject of real estate is brought up to people you're chatting with, it gets easy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how's the market? You know, I mean, it's not like you're looking to buy or sell. It's like, hey, the market's bananas. Uh, you know, hey, you know, my neighbor's house just sold for this or, you know, I just sold one in, in you know, a day or, you know, whatever it, whatever it brings up, just, just, you know, talking about the market, talking about how it is bananas and how there are this many showings or that many showings or the prices are, you know, kind of rising a little bit or, you know, whatever it is, interest rates. I mean, there's so many pieces. If you just mention one thing, you're right in that. It just, you know, people just, you know, it's so easy to just kind of chat about it. Um, you know, and then when you have some knowledge or did some homework or just kind of know the market or, you know, kind of know something that happened, you just kind of jump right in and, and like, yeah, I'm in the market. I'm a real estate agent. Um, you know, and then hopefully it leads to, you know, just, just you being, you know, uh, an expert or, uh, you know, knowing the market. And hopefully it just leads to further conversation. And then, you know, and it's not always leading to a, you know, some deal. Um, it's like, okay, remember me for next time. Remember me for the next time you hear, you know, something happened or, or your neighbor's potentially thinking of selling. Just throw my card in the ring and, and let me handle it from that point. So, um, and, and because, you know, we're all new on here, I, I'll take the, you know, the, the time is, is there's nothing there's nothing better than you guys getting something tomorrow and you're like, oh man, what do I do? You know, you come to us at that point and we will, you know, help you. We'll, you know, we have agents that, or office managers, regionals that will go on an appointment with you, um, you know, make, make, you know, do everything we can to help you get, you know, that potential deal. But there is nothing better than like sort of having that deal, you know, in your face or potential for it. And then let us help you, you know, do whatever we can to, to, to seal it. So, um, so kind of always realize, you know, I, you know, like do everything you can to dig one up and find one and then find two and three. Um, and then let us make sure we, we have, you know, you have all the tools and, and necessary training to, you know, to show up and actually, you know, get the listing or let's help you find that, you know, the buyer a house. So. Okay, so I'm going to come back to the, oops. So sphere of influence, you know, obviously just, you know, just kind of thinking of all the ways that, that we can do this, you know, obviously in person, by phone, you know, Zooming now has become a, you know, a, a big deal or something necessary, I should say. 
um, you know, text messages, um, email, direct mail. So, you know, so we have plenty of options. So, you know, you know, someone that you can call, you know, someone, you know, that, that you're going to, you know, Zoom, you, you know, you know, somebody you can throw a message in and throw them some sort of hint that you're in real estate. Um, you know, uh, you, we're going to chat about it shortly and you guys are going to see, um, you guys have a website. If you're live with us right now, you have a website and you have a mobile app. So we're going to learn how to tweak them a little bit and make sure they look good. Um, but you have something that you can text your, you know, whoever you want, or, you know, um, put it on social be like, Hey, check out my website. I'm super excited about it. Let me know what you think. And guess what? You just let a bunch of people know that you're in real estate and you have an awesome tool for them to, to look for a house or play around, for, you know, with a house or, or just, if they're going to open up a mobile app, open up my mobile app and, and you see every house for sale. Um, but, but also, you know, they see your face. So every single time they open up your mobile app, they see your face. So, um, lots of cool ways for us to, you know, sort of share that, Hey, I'm in real estate. <laughs> um, but, but also obviously realize, um, you know, you know, that, that you just marketed yourself, but really they're just kind of playing around on an app or, or on my website and peeking at houses. So, um, so lots of different ways and, and every single one of these have different, you know, advantages and, and, you know, some negatives or whatever, but you know, just kind of know, you know, we have a group of folks, you know, we got to put the group together. So, you know, if you have not started yet, um, you, you definitely need to start creating that list. And it, you know, and it's not just, oh, I know all my family, I know my friends, it's actually putting it into a spreadsheet. You know, it, it, it's putting it into a, a, you know, one place where I can go, here's my sphere. And, and, and the one thing you'll realize is the sphere never ever is done. I don't, I don't have one spreadsheet and I go, they're my people, you know, like I'll be driving along, I'll drive by a house, I'll go on Facebook, I'll look through my messages or, or my emails and go, geez, I never really thought about, you know, adding Molly. So Molly gets added to my spreadsheet today. You know, oh, and this is kind of where I know Molly, um, you know, so it's never ending. But the fact is, is it's got to start somewhere. So, you know, we'll, we'll talk as we go through here. But there are so many places, you know, your phone, your email, social, you know, um, just 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 thinking about, you know, man, who did I go to school, you know, go in social and just kind of look down through, you know, suggested folks. I mean, that list goes forever. There were people up top that have a lot of uh, uh, mutual connections. So that's kind of who they throw up. So there's the start, but then you'll get down through and you'll find someone like, geez, I have not thought about, you know, this person in, in years, you know, guess what? They, you know, they know you, you know them, they quickly become part of your sphere. So it's really just, you know, your text messages, your emails, things like that. You got to go back through them and just see who your contacts are and see who you can grab from your phone, your email, social, everywhere and then kind of put them together in one list. And, and you know, it's like, you know, kind of like you you guys are talking about adding or, or handing out cards and things. I wanna reach six people a day. Well, let's add six people or, or whoever we can into our spreadsheet, into our sphere every single day. So, you know, go find folks that, and then it gets kind of fun. Like, man, you kind of get on a roll. You're like, man, man, you know, um, and, and sometimes we have emails. Sometimes we just have phone numbers. Sometimes we don't have anything, but you know, when they're in there, um, the goal will be to, to work on getting emails, to work on getting phone numbers, to figure out how I can. Sometimes you, you know, you, you tag them on social and, and then they respond and, and you can grab some additional info. But, you know, it's, it's kind of just putting it together, even though it's not 100% right off the bat. You know, you add 50 people, you're like, man, I have 20 with phone numbers and emails. I got 10 with just emails. I got 10 with just phone numbers. I got 10 with nothing. You know, it's like, yeah, that's fine. But, you know, we're, you know when you put them in all in one spot and look at it, you know, daily, every other day, you know, two times a week, you know, when you look at it, you, you know, basically you, you have to look at that list as these people will or would use me as their agent or they would or will tell their friends and family or, or their sphere that I'm an agent they can trust and that they should talk to. 
And that's the start of it. And that, you know, once they were all in one spot, then you really look at it like, I got to tell these people I'm in real estate and I got to figure out how to do it regularly. You know, and there's lots of options we have, you know, it's not like this prospecting, you know, should be your number one goal. Always, you should do it every single day. If you stop prospecting, you know, your pipeline will dry up and you'll be looking for business. And we never really want to look for business. We kind of want to build that platform. So today, John comes out of the woodwork and says, hey, I got someone for you or I'm going to do something. And then, you know, tomorrow or two or three days later, someone else jumps up and says, hey, we're thinking. And then three days later, you know, and that's when you have that conversation from the start and then have some sort of consistent um, message, you know, going out to those folks that you're still in real estate and you can help them, that you're here for them. You know, that's when those folks just kind of regularly start coming into your world and that's the ideal platform. So. Um, so again, just, just every single one of these has, you know, different advantages, disadvantages, whatever. Um, but the fact is, is we have to figure out, you know, in that mess, you know, in every way we can message them, how do I, how do I do this consistently so that they're hearing from me by phone and then maybe a text message and then I get an email and then, you know, I'm also sending them a handwritten note, you know, twice a year, you know, something. So, so again, that, that just becomes part of, uh, you know, part of our world to make this happen, so. So, um, oh, perfect, Annette. So we have not talked about that. We're actually gonna talk about, once we have that list, I, I'm gonna, I will show you guys how to, you know, how to get it into our, our ZAP system um, and, and put it to work. So we're actually gonna do a deep dive or, or at least a beginner's dive um, into Zap tonight. So I'm gonna kind of go live in the platform and, and talk a lot about, okay, so we have this list, you know, how can I actually make it work? Um, you know, and, and the advantage of having a system like Zap is, is that, you know, let that send the emails for me. You know, let it remind me who to chat to, you know, with today. Like, okay, so, you know, if you have 500 people in your sphere or just in your database, and it can be 200, it can be 50, you know? And if I told you, you know, like, hey, you gotta stay in touch with them, every single day, you're gonna wake up and go, Ooh, like, what am I gonna do? Like, I don't even know what to do. Like, I got 50, say nothing about 500, you know, there are agents with thousands, you know? So you need a system in place, to, you know, if, if, if you had, let's say you had 200 and, and something told you every day, like touch base with these six, well, guess what? You're gonna wake up and go, <laughs> I'm going to do 10, you know, but it's when you have 200 or you, you have 200 and they're in your phone and email and all over the place in social, and you don't have any sort of, you know, method to your madness, you know, it gets haphazard. It's not consistent. You know, you're reaching out to one person, you kind of get stuck on them. So, you know, we can't get stuck on one person. We're going to work that person, but we also have to work the other 199. You know, so that's that's where the system that you know us CRM comes in place, and and it sort of helps us start getting organized and helps put them all in one place, so that I can be be better prepared to to work with you know these six today and then tomorrow six more. You know. so we will definitely get into that um, and uh, in in you know kind of talk through it as we get live in the system. So. And there'll be, oh, you know, plenty of, uh, you know, definitely we'll stop and, and, you know, kind of make sure you guys, you know, have questions answered or if you guys want to add anything to it. So, um, so and I am going to um, just pause for a second and, and I just added this 90-10 at the bottom. So um, I, I, I'm looking, I, you know, I know you guys, some of you guys have, you know, been in the business, you know, more than a week, um, you know, and some not. So, um, you know, but this 90-10, um, you know, this this is a, a national percentage. So, you know, agents in the business a week or 30 years in the business, every single deal that was done, you know, as, you know, for somebody that was an agent, 8.5 million, um, you know, crazy numbers, um, you know, the 90, 10 percentage and, and it varies, you know, it could be 88 to 12, it could be 92 to eight, but kind of that number in general. So according to NAR, which is the National Association of Realtors, unbelievable stats, anytime you can read a report from NAR or, 
hear, you know, see any graphs or stats, just, just look at them. Take a second to look at them, file them somewhere so you have access to them. But so NAR says that, you know, I did, you know, every single deal last year, 90% of the clients said they would work with their agent again. So unbelievable stats. Like, yeah, he was, Wayne was great. I will work with him 100%. Year after year, only 10% actually work with their that agent again. So 90% say they will work with them. 10% only end up doing it. And it's not because Wayne became the worst agent in the world the day after. It's because Wayne did not stay in touch with that past client. So I know you guys don't have, you know, if any, I know you guys, some of you guys have had a deal and stuff. Like it doesn't matter. Like that's, that concept comes back to your sphere. You know, you look at your sphere. If it's not a hundred percent, you know, it, it, it's super close where you said, Hey, I'm a real estate agent. Um, you know, I, I, you know, obviously I don't expect you to give me business, but if I had a shot, would you, would you tell your friend to, to reach out to me? You know, it's going to be 90 or above that go, of course, you know, we don't tell our friends and family and sphere and stay in touch with our past clients as we start getting them. They are not going to go digging in a file to see who their agent was. They just will not do it. If you are not reaching out to them to say, Hey, it, you know, especially a past client. Hey, how's everything? Hey, how's the house? Uh, you, know, you know, hey, what are you doing now? Hey, I was in your neighborhood, you know, whatever. They will forget you. They will go to Google. They'll meet another agent. They'll stop at an open house and they will use another agent. So kind of the same concept with as you guys get past clients and then you're a year in the bit, you know, in the business a year, like, look, I know that if I buy, you know, you buy a house with me or I sell your house, you're not doing something unless you're buying, you know, selling and then buying. But if you bought a house today, I know that you are not buying another house four months from now. I know it. But guess what? You know, you will sell and then buy seven years from now, eight years from now, could be two, you know, whatever the time frame is. But the key is, is, you know what? You also have a lot of friends and family. I did a great job. If I, if I remind you and stay in touch with you, guess what? In four months, they are likely to have a neighbor, a friend, a family member doing something. And they'll be like, Wayne was great with us. You know, when, when did this, went above and beyond. So, um, so again, everything we talk about with staying in contact and things, um, you know, prospecting, you know, uh, you know, that number still come, you know, that we have to remember that if, if I'm not telling folks what I do, what I still do, or reaching out to clients or past clients as we go, staying in touch with a buyer. I can't not contact a buyer for seven days and think that they're going to just be like, I'm just waiting for Wayne to reach out to me. You know, anybody we're dealing with, you know, we just have to have a consistent communication string. And then guess what? That 90 will stay 90. You know, that 90 will, and you can actually go higher, you know, um, but it will quickly, you know, quickly drop and, and could be down to the 10% if you're like, yeah, that person will come back to me or, you know, just, just kind of uh, assuming things. So just kind of wanted to throw that out there. Super scary number when you truly, when you think about it, you know, like you have 10 deals, nine folks will use you again or refer you out. And then all of a sudden only one of them do. Guess what? I just lost eight deals, you know, and that could be over a month period or five year period, but I still, I'm losing eight out of nine deals. And, and that's just, that can't happen. And it can't happen whether they're a past client or it can't happen whether they're part of my sphere. So, all right. So I'm going to pause for just a second and just kind of see if anybody has any, any questions, any thoughts, um, you know, good, bad, um, scary, <laughs> uh, anything's good, but I just want to pause for just a second. I have a question. Sure. I just want to know when you're making your contact list, I mean, do you, do you include people from other states as well that, you know, I mean, not just your own home state or your home area or. You know, I, I will, um, you, you know, we, we, we always, you know, it's so once you kind of get the system down, you know, it, it's not like, you know, like, Oh gee, I have five hours of prospecting today and, 
in three hours of it is on, you know, people that don't even live in my state. You know what I mean? It's not, it's, you know, if you don't, if you just, right. kind of, you know, add them and then have systems in place. Well, the, you know, the advantage of connecting with them, whether it's social or, or texting or even call, whatever it is, um, you know, you know them for a reason. They lived in your state. Maybe they know someone in your town. Um, you know, there's always a chance for a referral. So we have a huge referral network within the ERA brand. So, I mean, I can sell a house anywhere in the, in the, in the world and get, you know, 25 or 30% referral fee. So, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't go out looking for only a referral fee, but when I build my, my sort of my platform and my business around, Hey, <laughs> you know, my clients in my town, but if, you know, if I can make sure, you know, I sell real estate, um, you know, then clearly it's just potential business. It's, it's, you know, them telling one of their friends that lives in your town. Um, you know, there's always that chance. So definitely sort of include it. And in, in what, what, what I really do is, is I group them. So, you know, this is family. This is how you get taught. You know, this is how I work with you. These are friends and there could be a out of town section, you know, and it could be some friends, some family, some, you know, whatever. Um, so, so you kind of just build it, what, what, you know, like what makes sense for you and, and, you know, Hey, how am I going to reach out to these folks? You know, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, spend a bunch of money to hope they refer me, but you know, if I'm okay, so I'm going to text them. Um, I'm going to connect with them on social or like things that they like or tag them or whatever. And then I'm going to, you know, have them on an email campaign, you know, something like that. And it's just, you know, just part of your family and, um, you know, and, and see, you know, I say, see what happens, but just kind of expect that, Hey, something's going to happen from it or could, and, and I'll take it. Okay, great. Thank you. Absolutely. I mean, you'll, you'll just to add to that just a little bit, you will, you will see agents, you know, that were like, you know, Oh, look, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm selling their house and they're moving to Colorado. Like, why do I want to stay in touch with them? <laughs> well, you know, first of all, what you, we have to realize early on is, is, you know, when someone says we're looking to buy or sell, you know, like, Hey, like, why are you selling? Like, Oh, we're moving here or we're moving here. You know, just cause they say they're moving to Colorado doesn't mean you're like, Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'm not going to get a buyer's side. You're like, Hey, I can help you find an agent in Colorado um, that way, you know, you know, like I'll find one, I'll, I'll, you know, sort of, you know, figure out who the best agent is. Um, and we have a platform with Megan, who was on our last call, um, you know, who's our marketing slash e-commerce reload director. So she will go find an agent. So you hand her John Smith in his, in his cell number and say, he's looking in Colorado um, and she will handle it from that point. And then in the end, you're just going to get a check because John bought a house in Colorado. Um, so kind of adding to, should I add them to my sphere? Yes. And then on top of that, you know, when you're having a conversation, you know, Hey, we're looking to buy or sell like, Hey, what's like, what's happening? You know, are you looking to sell something to buy or, you know, whatever. And then if they're selling like, Hey, where are you moving? You know, you have that conversation and just, you know, you have, you have options to make another buck, um, depending on what they're doing. Okay. That's great. Awesome question. So. Okay, so um, so I'm going to quick go through these, and and you know this is, you know, I mean just just you know, I'll let you read that, but you know it, it's it's just sort of giving you an idea, but you know I'm a firm believer that, you know that that you guys just need to create the list, um, and have folks in it, and then you guys will realize. So you're not going to have this conversation with a family member, a friend, a neighbor, and a, and, and a coworker. You know, it's going to be like, oh, this kind of works for how I want to talk to my family member. I'm going to let them know. And this is how I kind of, you know, mention it, either mention it, text it, wear logo, <laughs> logo wear and walk into a dinner with some friends with some logo wear. Like, oh, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, however that happens. So, you know, I don't, I don't mind, um, you know, it, it's nice to, you know, have you guys sort of have an idea of, of you know, how to start a conversation. But, um, you know, I will say that I've started a new career or um, like I said a little bit earlier, I have a website or a mobile app. I have, you know, it's actually the easiest way if you were to send a, a link to your website or a link to your mobile app, 
to your friends and family or or just folks that are like, man, I'm not quite sure, you know, what to do with these folks or how to, you know, kind of stay in front of them. You know, awesome one is and for really anyone like, hey, I have this awesome website. I've been doing some work to it. I would love to hear what you think about it. Like no one's going to be like, oh my gosh, I am not looking to buy or sell. Don't bother me. You know, you ask a favor on social, you can do that. You know, like folks are going to click on your website and you know, take a peek at it and then you know, kind of let you know like, hey, it's great or, you know, whatever, um, you know, whatever they say. So, you, you know, no one's going to sort of discount you or, or think, why are they, you know, why are they doing that? Why are they asking me if I want to buy or sell? You know, so there's, there are ways to, to sort of have that conversation or, or throw yourself out there, um, you know, and asking a favor um, is always the best way to do it. You know, like, hey, I, you know, I, you know, I, I was driving through this neighborhood. What do you think about it? You know, or something. So anytime you ask something like that, it's an awesome way to, to kind of throw out like, hey, I'm in real estate and um, just reminding you guys. So, and then uh, this one as well. Um, you know, always kind of mentioning who you're with, um, you know, how are you doing these days? You know, um, obviously we kind of have a, a topic now with with sort of COVID and, and safety and stuff and, and that sort of comes up, but we also have an awesome topic right now with the market is truly bananas. So, you know, um, you know, like somebody had mentioned, like everyone will, will be interested or, or happy to chat about. Um, just what's going on and like, what is going on? Like, hey, the market's bananas, um, you know, and then just chat through it. But again, you know, obviously, like, I'm not stupid. My goal is, you know, to have someone say, hey, I want to buy or sell, or I got someone that I know wants to buy or sell. That's my goal. But every time I talk about it, you know, I don't just come out with that. Every time I talk about real estate, share something on social, text, phone call, handwritten note, anything, you know, obviously that's my goal. I want them to, to realize I sell real estate and I want to be top of mind when it comes to, you know, when it comes to time that they're doing something or they're out somewhere at work or whatever, and they hear someone talk about real estate, you know, I just want my name to, you know, sort of come to the forefront and, and be an option. Um, actually, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to back this one up. So another you know, another cool option is, is, you know, hey, you know, the, the, the market's bananas, um, you know, so who do you know, you know, thinking, who do you know, you know, your neighborhood, your work, do you have, you know, somebody at school who might be thinking of making a move? So you're not asking them, you know, like, hey, are you, are you guys thinking about or selling, you know, but, but hey, have you heard anything? I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm looking for listings. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm anxious to, you know, to do this or whatever. Um, you know, have you heard anything and, you know, anybody in your neighborhood that's thinking of, you know, I mean, sometimes you have buyers, it's like I got buyers kind of looking in your school district, you know, have you had any conversations with someone that, you know, has thought about it? Um, again, that, that's, you know, like if you ask me that, you know, and I wasn't an agent, I'd be like, well, geez, you know, I haven't, but I'll certainly keep my ears, you know, out for you. You know, I'm not going to be like, why are you asking me? Don't ask me to, you know, do, you know, I wouldn't even think of that. You know, I'm just kind of like, you know, hey, I'm doing this. This is my, you know, you know, this is what I need. Um, you know, have you heard anything that might help me? And again, if they're in your sphere, they're going to be like, I'll help you. You know, I will keep my ears peeled and then, then you got a new set of ears out there. So, um, so anytime you can, you know, sort of put that out there, I think that's a, a bonus as well. Oh, can everyone hear me? All right. I just want to make sure Annette, Annette saying her volume dropped. I want to, everyone else hear me. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Okay. Perfect. I don't know what happened. It didn't go away. It just got lowered. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gotta love technology. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. So we're going to quick finish this. And then, and then again, like I said, hop right into um, in Zap. So you guys can kind of take a look at that. So um, yeah. So this, you know, again, the, the sphere, um, you know, just, you know, figure, it says get down to this calling friends and family. But the, the idea is, is, um, you know, really just figure out what works for you guys, um, you know, it, but do it, you know, it, you know, this, this is one of my like, you know, if, if you wait till 
Saturday and be like, well, I guess I'll start Saturday. <laughs> you know, um, not that you have to take 15 hours tomorrow and do it, but you know, I'm a firm believer of like, start putting, if you haven't, you know, or, or if you have continue it, you know, but like, Hey, my, my list is going to have either 25 people tomorrow or 25 more people, whatever I need, you know, wherever I'm going to get to. And then, you know, I'm going to figure out how to reach out to six of them. So I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing my business cards and meeting folks or reach out to folks. But, you know, like I'm building this fear. I am going to do something every single day to make sure I'm working my way down the list. So don't wait for, like, you can't wait to go like, well, I'm going to get my list together and then start, you know, like start working on your list. But when you got 10 people and tomorrow's job is to get 10 more, like reach out to 10 or five or 10 of them you know, in, in text or call or, you know, go on social and what, you know, whatever that is. But, you know, definitely, definitely don't just wait for like, well, I'm going to wait till my list is done and then start. Cause then, I mean, you know, you get busy or you get sidetracked and then it's a week down the road and you haven't reached out to anyone to tell them you're in real estate, you know, and that's just not, you know, it's just not effective. So, um, you know, just, just set a goal like, hey, I want my, you know, and the list will never be done, but set a goal. Like, I want my list done in quotes, like as done as I'm going to get, and then I'll keep adding to it, you know, by the end of April, you know, I mean, it doesn't have to be tomorrow, but you know, like if you, if you wait, if you think tomorrow you're going to do it all, guess what? You're going to be in April and not even started it. It's just natural to be like, oh, I don't really have time to, geez, that's so overwhelming, but 10 a day. And then by the end of the month, you're at 300 and you've already started, now you're working down the list and you've contacted a hundred of them. I mean, you're in great shape, you know, like in, in you probably reached more than even that without realizing it, especially if you, you know, sort of do stuff on social and, and things like that. So again, just, you know, it, it's, it's super, super important to, to create that list and, and get it started. It's also super important to be like following that up with like, you know, making sure you're touching base with folks. So talking about farming, um, it, you know, this is, these are people you don't know, but it's your neighborhood. So obviously you may know some, you know, some of your neighbors, but you know, it's a, it's just a development down the road, you know, that, that, you know, you drive by it, it, it's some street, it's some, it's two or three streets. Um, it's not a thousand homes, you know, it's a hundred, 200 homes, maybe less than that. Um, where you're like, you know what, you know, in the, in the, the easiest, you know, sort of scenario is, is that it's your neighborhood. There are a hundred homes in your neighborhood. Like, um, I live here. I know my neighborhood, you know, I can quickly, especially even if I'm new, I can quickly learn what values are in my neighborhood, what things sell for, what folks, you know, what houses have three bedrooms versus four basement versus not two car, three car, you know, whatever, you know, so, so sort of grab a, grab a, an area, a hundred, you know, 200, you know, maybe a little bit more, but, um, and just start sort of working them, you know, start, start learning how to be the expert. So the expert, what's that mean? Well, you know, how many homes are in the development or how many homes you're working with, you know, what the homes are worth kind of what's happened in the market through the last year. Um, you know, hey, you know, do you know values, you know, in our neighborhood or in your neighborhood, you know, have increased, I don't know, 15% over the last 12 months, you know, things like that. So, you know, I mean, we can get a little bit deeper in this as we talk with like buyers and sellers. Um, but the idea of farm is, is like, you know, these folks are, are ideal, you know, really, really folks that you don't know um, but th there are ways to start becoming an expert. So, if, you know, if you were to send me some stuff and then maybe drop by and, and you know, leave a little hanger on the door, things like that, um, you know, after a certain amount of time, you know, especially if you're giving me stats, especially if you're telling me, you know, what my house might be worth or, or you know, just what's happening in general in the neighborhood kind of thing, you know, I will quickly go like, oh, yeah, you know, and that... <laughs> Yeah, remember we got that, you know, we got that postcard and then and then that handwritten note and then she hung that thing on the door. You know, like you you could, you know, you will become, you know, sort of like the expert of the neighborhood. So, and that's really the goal. You're not doing this just so they remember your name, 
they're doing it. So like, oh yeah, Annette, we, you know, we're like, we're thinking of doing something, you know, um, we, we, we gotta, we gotta at least talk to Annette, you know, that type of thing. So, and it's because you showed some value to them. Um, you know, you, you gave them stats that were, you know, like I could not even be interested in selling not, and it won't even happen in the next three years. But if you send me something, postcard, handwritten note, drop something in my door that gives me stats as to what my house might be worth or what's happening in my market, I will read it and I will find it valuable. And I may still throw it, but I'm more likely, if especially if it's stat, I'm more likely to keep it, you know, just kind of throw it in the pile. Um, but when you give me a second one and then a third one, you know, I, and then it, it, you know, the goal is, is like, oh yeah, Annette, <laughs> yeah. I mean, she's an expert. She, she knows this market, you know, and you're just doing the homework to, you know, you're, you're going in the MLS, you're running a report that shows like, Hey, you know, this, this neighborhood, this school district, whatever it is, you know, this is what happened in 19. This is what happened in 20. You know, I mean, things like how many homes sold, uh, um, you know, how, how uh, days on market, you know, just numbers that we can chat more about as you're, you know, especially if you were like, Hey, I want to, that's something I want to do. You know, it's not like you have to learn it all tonight, but just know farming is an option to prospect. And if you're like, okay, you know, I'm to the point where I, I want to farm this street or these two streets, then then come back and, and you know, we will help you kind of put the plan together. Um, you know, and it's not always, I am, I am a firm believer of not spending money. <laughs> um, I, I am not one to be like, oh, just write the check, right? You know, no, I'm, I analyze it. I'm like, well, if I, you know, if I do the work myself, you know, that saves money. And if I do handwritten notes, you know, I don't need to print anything. You know, I mean, I'll do whatever I can to, to limit the cost. Um, but, but yet I, you know, just knowing, well, I need to be, you know, I need to be effective, but I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a write a check, you know, see what happens. I'm, I'm like, well, if I spend, you know, a hundred on this mailing, I can do three of them. Um, you know, or something like that. So just kind of know, um, you know, the farming, I wanted you to kind of understand it or, you know, just, just have a, a familiarity with it. Um, and then just know, like, you know, when you're ready or, or think that's something you want to do, then you come back to us and we will be more than happy to, to kind of do a deeper dive and come up with a plan and a budget and, you know, um, to best make it work. Because I, there's, you know, of course, I don't want to spend $500 and just have it be, haphazard and not get anything out of it. So I, I want it to be purposeful um, in, in, you know, in assume or, or, you know, think that something will happen from it, so. Oh, Matt, cool. So I just started doing farming with homes in my local neighborhood. So yeah, I mean, there's not, I mean, there's truly not a lot to it, um, but the one thing you have to realize is, you know, um, if I know you, if you, you know, if I'm in your sphere and you say, you know, this is what I'm doing, looking to buy or sell, um, you know, you you really, I mean, you only have to tell me once, and I'll, you know, like I'll at least know you exist. Or if you told me once, like, do you have anybody? You know, I'm not going to go. Well, let me do research. I got to figure out who you are. Like, do I even trust you? You know, um, you know that sphere is is as long as they know you exist. The idea is is that they'll just, you know, they'll use you or or give you an op, you know, give you an opportunity, or, or hand your card to someone. Well, the farming is is they don't know you, so you're not going to send one one mailing to them and go, and they're going to go, oh, Annette's my agent. You know, they're just not going to do it. So, you know, but but when Matt, you know, when Matt sends, you know, one thing and then follows it up with a second and then follows it up with a third, and it's valuable stuff. And, and he's talking about the market or stats or, you know, showing who he is or who, you know, showing that he works for ERA, which is, you know, an international, you know, corp, you know, company, things like that, you know, then the second one, the third one, you know, that, that person's, you know, that, that homeowner or whoever it is starts realizing like, oh, okay. <laughs> You know, Matt's showing some value here, Matt, you know, so then, then at least it, you know, you, you come into, you know, into the mindset if they hear something or they're thinking about doing something. So farming's a little bit different than sphere because you can't just do it once and just think, hey, I, I don't know, I mailed them a hundred, you know, hundred postcards today and I got nothing from it. Well, you can't just do it once. You got to have sort of a plan to, to, to make it consistent and then make it valuable throughout. But I love that you're, uh, you know, that you're doing that, Matt. That's awesome. Happy to answer any questions if you, you know, if, if you want some, you know, 
some advice or, or to see how it's going. So, um, so just, yeah. So, you know, ways to farm, obviously direct mail, door knocking, you know, obviously we went, we are through still going through something where you don't, you know, it's maybe not the best to expect someone to answer their door and chat with you, but there are still folks that are walking down the street and have some sort of hanger to hang on each door. Um, you know, it, it, so there, there are still options from that, um, new, you know, email newsletters, phone calls, um, you know, sp you know, the, the one thing I'll say about this is, is, sp you know, it says sponsor events, you know, I mean, you can sponsor events, but what's most important is that you know what's happening in that farming area. Like, you know, there, there is a yard, you know, there are yard sale days are coming up this weekend. Um, you know, hey, there's a, a neighborhood picnic. Uh, yeah, you know, hey, the pool and some some folks have community pools like, hey, the pool's opening this Saturday. You know, anything that you can do to 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 show that you're local and part of the community. Um, you know, I think that's the you know, that's the big key. And then obviously, if you, you know, if it was to open up this summer and you were to have a, I, you know, whatever, um, you know, a, a, a chicken barbecue or hot dog grilling, stop by for a hot dog kind of thing, you know, whatever that, I mean, that's a bonus if that's something that you can or want to do. Um, but certainly just kind of making sure that you are part of the community that will bring in that, that. So stats and being part of the community are the two things that will, will get you, um, you know, sort of into that family, if you want to call it that sooner than anything else. So just kind of realizing that. So, so I'm going to, I mean, kind of have assignments, but in reality, um, I'm going to, you know, I, I, I do want you to either build or continue to build your sphere. And if you haven't started it, let's start it. And that's, again, phone, email, going through social, just starting, you know, start putting people in a spreadsheet and in whatever, whatever info you have. You know, if you have email, take two seconds now and add it. If you have the phone, take two seconds now and add it because that's just going to save you a ton of time when you actually go start, you know, to, to start working these folks. Um, so I'm going to, you know, kind of have assignments, but in reality, I, I think that's our number one. And the second one will be to actually um, play around in Zap and um, in, in, in make sure your website's good. Um, but, you know, we're going to get live in, in Zap um, actually right now. So I am going to, um, so I'm going to, I'm gonna stop sharing this, go into Zap. So if in the meantime, anybody has either any questions or wants to unmute yourself and sort of chat about anything we have to this point, please do. But otherwise I am going to, like I said, I need to figure out where my perfect. Okay, so um, if you have not been in Zap yet, um, you can log into Leverage. So Leverage is obviously our back office where we've been. We were in there two sessions ago. Took took a deep dive in it. Um, you know, all the ERA tools, all the training sessions, you know, all those pieces. So you can easily get to it from that. If you ever, you know, wanted to just sort of go directly into Zap, you can actually just go to ERA. It's up in, up in the left there, ERA.myzap.com. So ERA.com, myzap.com will take you directly into, you know, to this screen. And then um, if you go in leverage, it's a direct click through. If you Oh, see, it's still sent me into leverage. Um, uh, logging into leverage or zap is still your first name dot last name at era.com. It will always, always, always be not your Gmail. Not, so it's always first name dot last name at era.com, obviously your password. So this is um, the, the, the dashboard in zap. So I'm going to just show you um, two pieces. So, so this, this platform is Ooh, you know, um, you know, 10 sessions at three hours a piece, <laughs> you know, and you still have questions. It's just not something you, you know, you, you just hammer out in a night. Um, but it's very important for you guys to know that you have a website, that you have um, a uh, mobile app, 
and that you have a CRM and it's all just available to you. So that's kind of the core. And then we're going to start in it and like leverage, like everything we talk about, you can't break it. You cannot break this. So get in here, play around, you know, see what you can do, add a folks, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about how we add multiple folks, you know, in, in a, from a, um, you know, Excel file or something, but just kind of wanted to, you know, get you, you know, familiar with at least seeing the, the dashboard. So I'm going to click, so you will click your name in the upper right hand corner and you will see there's a page called my website. So click your name in the upper right hand corner, my website. So this is the back office page to your website. So every, you know, you have full, like what I can't do is, is rearrange it because it's, it's actually designed um, with the Google folks and it's, and it's totally driven to be, to, 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 for Google, Google to notice it and what we do in it. So the, the advantages is I don't have to like, what's, you know, what am I adding? What am I not adding? What, how do I design this? Like the, the design is here. The huge advantage is, is I can change things without needing to call someone. So I don't need to call someone up and go, hey, can I change my, you know, about me or, you know, can I change my background picture? Like you guys have full access to do this stuff, um, you know, on your own. So, um, you know, you can change this background picture. Obviously, we want to make sure that you have an agent picture. Super crucial. So, you know, there is no one that we will work with or potentially work with if they get to your website and they see the infamous gray outline of a person, they will click off it as quick as they found it. So we need to make sure that, you know, you have your picture there because because folks will go to this website, find this website, and they will be like, tell me about Wayne, you know, before they go, oh, I'm working with Wayne, you know, they're, they're going to want to learn more. So, um, so making sure that, you know, you have the agent picture and in the background picture, there will be one there. If you want to change it, you can. So as I scroll down through here, the next crucial thing, and just so you guys know, um, I am not an agent in Ohio. So this is sort of a, a corporate um, page. I'm actually using it to, to work leads, um, you know, a long-term lead. So I have like 24,000 leads I'm working for the company. So mine is just geared to be a company page, not a personal page. Um, so when you see things, that's why. But this personal statement is absolutely crucial. So this is who you are. So, I mean, this does not need to say I've been in real estate 10 years and, you know, this is me. This is, you know, you know who I am. This is where I went to school, what town I'm from. Um, you know, this is that I, I work hard, you know, will or work hard for my clients and, and give them, you know, 100% of my, you know, time. Um, you know, this is that I, you know, that I love horses, that I love, you know, fishing, you know, whatever. This is just kind of who you are. Like, let me read it and go, oh, you know, I'm not reading that necessarily to, to know that you've been in real estate 10 years and that you sold $5 million last year. I don't care. You know, my first thing is, is who are you? In, in, in you know, why should I scroll down your page further? <laughs> um, so, so kind of build this. And um, if you ever, um, you know, if, if you if you haven't done it, in I, it should be again this page. So we're working on our sphere. This page is number two, or it's in conjunction. So spend half an hour or an hour doing your sphere and starting to work those, and then spend an hour on this page. I um, mean, just get it done or or start working on it because it won't take you long. You know, if you get in the mindset. Um, but you can always Google real estate bios you know, and read a couple and get an idea like, okay, I kind of like that one, you know, the way that one was written, obviously just kind of make it your own or, you know, put two of them together and, and make one. Um, so this should be, you know, man, a paragraph, maybe two paragraphs at most, you know, short, short paragraphs. Um, you know, if I see a, a 15 line paragraph there, man, I'm going to skim it. I am not going to read it. So short sentences, I'm like, well, I can read two sentences and they get to the next one. Oh, I can read two sentences. So kind of think it like, you know, like if you get to something, you're like, oh, I can do that. Or is it like, ah, just skim it. I don't, don't want to, you know, so just kind of think of that. But this is super, super important. There are folks that will find this website. There are folks that you'll send, the, you know, to this website. 
there will people that get referred to you that will find this website and make sure you're good for them. So, you know, kind of kind of taking the time to write this personal statement is big. And there's some tips over here. So you can either, you know, kind of use these, but also, um, you know, don't be afraid to Google, Google it, you know, real estate bio and, and read some to, to get a feel for it. Um, you guys have an option to add a YouTube video. So you guys can add a YouTube video. There are a, a, a bunch of uh, ERA real estate videos. There are some ERA real solutions videos on YouTube. Um, don't be afraid to, to just create one yourself. Um, you know, use your phone, you know, make sure it's sturdy, but you don't have to hire anyone to do it. You know, use your phone, have it, you know, be professional. You can be outside in your market and talking about your market, talking about your town. Um, it doesn't, you know, it can be about you. It can be about the town you work and live in. Um, you know, whatever. So that, that would, that is, that's number one, but if you're not into the, or not ready yet to do the video, um, definitely go and grab one that's, you know, that's ERA or ERA Real Solutions, or obviously, you know, right choice if we're in Florida, like, you know, whatever one. Um, but, but having a video there is just a key, um, a great Google connection. So Google loves videos on a, on a website. So um, awesome to have one to kind of have Google start recognize, uh, recognizing us. Scrolling down this page again, all I did was click upper right hand corner, my website, and I'm on this page, and I I can I can do this stuff myself. So um, you know, and, and I don't need anyone to to you know I don't have to hire someone or wait for someone to do it. I may you know need a refresher on how to do it, but um, you know you you have full control over this. So um, so obviously you know I get to connect my social. So if I use um, you know Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google Plus, Yelp. Pinterest or Instagram, I can connect those to my website. Again, another huge connection with the Google side. So Google, Google knows all of these. So if I have my, a Facebook link on my website page, that gets recognized by Google. So if you have any of these that you use, all I need to do, let's just say LinkedIn, I just need to click this. And in this case, I just need to go to LinkedIn, be logged in, copy, you know, go to my homepage, you know, my, my profile page, copy that and then put it in there and save it and I'm done. Like that's, it's that simple. Um, you know, something like Twitter, it's actually gonna make me, it would actually make me log into Twitter. See, my, see mine, I disconnected it because obviously mine is personal and I didn't want it to be, but um, you know, I would have to, uh, you know, to sort of log in. Um, so there, but there are ways to, to sort of link those two um, you know, easily, and, and I can do it with any of them. So all I need to do is basically have my login or be logged in, and then I can easily connect those. And once they turn, you know, more not not gray and white colored here, you know, this one's blue and white, that means it's linked. So as they get, you know, as I connect them, they will, you know, turn into the colors of the, this one's red and white or, you know, whatever. So they'll, they'll turn into the um, um, colors of the, you know, the app itself. So dark blue and white. And then you'll know they're connected and they will show up on your website. So um, awesome there. So this, this page is important. This section is important as well. So area served. So you're able to tell folks, hey, this is where I sell real estate. Um, the important thing to realize about this page, it, I mean, it's actually crucial, is we have, you know, companies in Cleveland, Columbus, Cincinnati, and then we're in, you know, Southwest Florida would be on a different page. You wouldn't have the option to do that. But the idea is, is the company page has default to say that I work in Cleveland, Columbus, and Cincy. So obviously you got to back those out and go, well, I don't work in Cleveland, Columbus, and Cincy. I'm just in Cincinnati or Columbus, you know, one of the markets. So you can come in here to this section and go, you know, I, I am in, I'm, I'm in Cleveland. I am not in Cincy. I, I can't, you know, I can, but I don't. I have no interest in selling. So you can see, you know, as soon as I hover over it, you'll see this X. I, if I X this one out of it, it's gone. So if I X out of Cincy, Cincy's gone. If I come down here and, and I, you know, I, of course I want to add my, you know, mine. And they're like, oh, Cincy comes up. You know, I added it. And as soon as that disappears, I don't know why that's there, but. You know, since he was added, so you know, so I'm able to make sure that these, um, you know, these areas are correct for where I sell real estate. So, 
um, you know, Westerville. So I can add, you know, Westerville. So it says, I don't know why that popped up. It says change of save. So now I'm, see Cincinnati's on here. So, you know, so it, it's, it's building where I sell real estate. So you can build all around Cleveland. You can build all around Columbus. You can be just north of Columbus. You can be just south of Columbus. You're like wherever you want to work. You know, you can sort of build the, you know, build it to be like, hey, this is where I sell real estate. And if you live in between Columbus and Cincy, you know, you can have half a Cincy and half a Columbus, you know, whatever you want. Um, but it, it's 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 where you would actually sell real estate. It's markets, you know. Um, but the idea is, is, is we kind of have essentially, you know, that whole strip in between Cle uh, Cleveland and Cincy. Um, but we want to make sure those are correct. So all you got to do is hover over, X out. You know, click in here and add new areas, and then you're you're building where you sell real estate. So that's kind of that's very important to make sure those are correct for you. So as you start selling homes, these will actually just automatically appear. I don't have to do a thing. If I sell a home, it's going to go on my website as, "Hey, I just sold this home." So whether you represent the buyer or the seller, so I turned mine off again just because I don't you know, I don't sell in Ohio. Um, but all I have to do is you know, this is green. If I sold a home today, when it registers, it'll appear on my website. So, you know, again, without having to do anything, we're going to, we're going to skip the insights for right now. That's a, it's an awesome tool and, and I'll probably do a session. I may just record something and then send it to you guys. Um, these things are extremely, extremely powerful for you guys to, to become local and to show that you are seeing homes and that you're, you, you know the market. Um, so, you know, extremely uh, uh, powerful for you guys to start jumping out as agents that aren't new in the business that have been in the, you know, you, you act like or can look like, you just know the market. I, you know, I, you, you do property insights and local insights, I see them. I won't, you know, there, there'll be times where I don't even like wonder how long you've been selling. Like, oh, well, you saw three homes in our market. So, you know, or five or whatever, you know, like I know what you're doing. You, you know, I know you know what you're doing. So let's go, you know, so they're awesome. But we'll, we'll, we'll do a deeper dive in those uh, either in another session in this six weeks or I, I may just do a separate session for you guys. Um, you know, if you want to take a peek at this, you know, if, if it's kind of in your wheelhouse, this local SEO playbook, um, you know, again, this, this website is completely designed to stand out in the Google world and to have you stand out, you know, whether it's a search engine or, or stand out with someone that finds your website. Um, so super important, you know, so you guys can kind of click through this and, and get familiar with it. But again, a, a, a certainly a session um, that we can do, um, you know, at a later date or, or I can just record one. Resources. So this is actually a way for you to become local. So you can actually add 15 outside websites on your website for local stuff. So you'll just see that, you know, um, what's up in Westerville or Westchester. So I have the website behind it. Need a mortgage. Here's a link to our, our partnered bank. Um, you know, so I can say, you know, something like, um, you know, whatever. You know, you know, just a lake, um, you know, if, if there was a, you know, a lake called Lake Wayne, you know, and I can put a link behind it and then call it, you know, community and add it. So all of these links just add to your website in one section to kind of give, you know, to give someone that, that sees it or finds it or lets Google know that, you know what, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm showing you I'm local to Columbus or I'm local to Cincy or Cleveland or this, you know, th these beaches in Fort Myers, like whatever you want to do, you know, th this is sort of bringing it local. Um, so you can add, you know, tied information for folks in Florida, like whatever is important, you know, um, you know, I've seen folks add links to different home inspectors or banks or, you know, things like that. So just again, just ways that you can, you know, I love the, you know, the mortgage, the bank, not bad, but I, I love kind of bringing it local. So, so find some cool places, some, you know, some community pages that are in, in folks in towns that you want to sell in, um, you know, in, in areas of Cleveland that you want to sell in, um, you know, you know, it could be sports, it could be, you know, um, Indians, Browns, you know, Bengals, Red, whatever, you know, just, it, you can do up to 15 of them, but as you do them, you know, I love the idea of sort of, um, you know, bringing it local and showing that you're connected to the community. 
So again, right here, you know, whatever that, whatever you want to name it, I think you can do up to 20 characters. So it can't be super long. Um, then you just go get the website, um, you know, copy it in here and then label it, you know, so there's some, um, you know, options there. And if I did other, I could do, I mean, I could type whatever I wanted there, you know, in, in sort of, um, you know, label it and sort of, and then once I save it, it will appear, you know, in, and then it immediately appears on my website. So again, just some options for resources. So I'm going to pause for just a second. I'm kind of going down through this page, but I do want to make sure that I get to the, the show at least show you the the app link and then and make sure I get into the at least the initial piece of the CRM. But I want to pause for just a second and just see there is a. Um, you know. <laughs> Te technically we do. So I've actually seen people sort of create, um, it's pretty simple actually, it, or if you know someone that can do it, like it's pretty simple to kind of create a page. So you can actually do it in, a, in something like Word. So you can put in Word, um, John's home inspection, Jake's home inspection, Sue's home inspection, whatever, you know, list three of them um, and even some verbiage and put a link behind it. And you can actually make that page a web page. So, you know, like in one click, someone can get to that whole page. So, you know, I have seen folks, um, you know, um, you know, sort of say, oh, I'm going to list three. But also, you know, uh, you know, if you don't say, you know, you have to use this bank, you know, I mean, you know, like First Nats, our partner bank. So it, it's the one we want to refer out to folks. So, um, so you, you know, there's, if you label it correctly, I, you know, you'll be, you'd be okay. But, you know, if you're not comfortable with it, list the three, but I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take three spots for home inspector. You know, I would rather, you know, skip the home inspection and, and put three spots of, of websites that put me local. So, you know, so if you're going to do a home inspection or a bank or, or somebody, um, the one I like most is, is the mortgage because someone might find your website and you know like need 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 to get pre-approved or you know need a mortgage like something that's like you know somebody gets to your website or you send someone to your website and be like i got some link you know i got some links there for for some banks you know see which one and, and click one of them or you know hey my preferred bank is on there if you know if you want to check them out you know let me know you know but send someone there and then or if they see it and be like hey i yeah, we haven't talked to a bank yet. Again, it might be just something that triggers it. So, you know, yeah, be careful with it. You know, don't label it, you know, must use bank or something. But, um, you know, definitely if you want to use the three, try to put it under one link, um, you know, but but also realize that, you know, that community piece is important as well. So good question for sure. Yeah, we don't want to steer, you know, think we're steering folks in, into, you know, having to use a bank or this home inspector. We, we certainly do not want to do that. So any other questions, any, any thoughts? Am I, uh, am I going at a, a decent speed? I know it's, if you haven't seen this, I know this, this is a lot, but also, you know, know that I'll send this recording out. You can rewatch it. Um, and, and you, you text me and I will be more than happy um, to, to maybe do a separate group, uh, um, you know, and kind of go down through this more one-on-one. -on -one. Also your office coordinators, office managers, um, uh, you know, it'll be for this as well. So, I have a question. Absolutely. So, when you go down to where you said your listings were, like um, houses, my sold homes, and yep. it's not there, but it's green. And I was looking to see if I can go to my website um, and see if it's there. So, once I go there, I see it like click on the, the is is there I, well i've only had one closing but i see it there when you hit that little link to say go to my website yep then it's there but it's not on where you yeah, they, yeah they will yep they won't show up here um okay this is basically saying yeah yeah add it when i sell one so yeah you don't need to see them here as long as you're kind of watching it and they show up there then you're then you're you know it's working it's fine. okay that's fine thank you yeah absolutely yeah. Congrats on your closing. <laughs> Thank you, appreciate it. All right, so as I scroll down through here, um, this this one as well is, um, you know, again, I wish I could spend 
you know, three more hours on, on Zap with you, and but it doesn't mean we won't or we may, you know, I think we probably should do some other sessions, um, you know, for, for you newer folks, because there's so, you know, there's just so much, but there's also so much value here. Um, this is kind of another one of those sections. Um, you just, and I'll show you when I get to a client, you have the ability to, to ask for a review from someone that's in Zap. So one of the advantages of potentially being new um, is, is that, they don't have to be a past client. You do not have to sell them something to ask them to, to give you a review. So obviously Betty has a, you know, has, has one client, you know, has a client. So, you know, she can, you know, send one to them and they can be like, oh, Betty was great, you know, whatever. But Betty can also send one to, you know, I mean, anyone, a, a mortgage person that she worked with, um, somebody she worked 10 years with um, or went to school with and, and they can say, um, you know, Betty is, is great. You know, I, I would, you know, she is my realtor of choice. You know, they can, they, they don't have to, you know, it's not like they have to say Betty, you know, Betty did great finding us a house and they really, you know, and she really didn't like, you know, like anybody can leave you a review. And, and if they haven't, if you haven't worked with them, then they're just character, you know, sort of character um, reviews where, where someone can say, you know, Betty's my agent of choice, or I, I worked, you know, I've worked with Betty for 20 years, you know, or just whatever the, you know, Betty's been my neighbor for 20 years, you know, whatever it is, like, just have them be honest. Um, but, but they, you know, they can actually get reviews from anybody that is in your system. So when you start adding folks, you know, you, you can, you know, hey, I'm going to get one review a week. I'm, you know, I'm going to send one review to, to someone, I'm going to kind of reach out to them and go, hey, would you mind taking a second to, you know, to review me and just, you know, just kind of say some kind words or whatever, you know, again, we know who we can send that to and, and get something good back, so. Perfect. Yeah, I, I definitely think we, we will, we will do some, um, you know, we'll do some additional sessions on Zap, probably separate from this. So, um, you know, whether I do some in recording and then send them or, you know, maybe after the two weeks to not inundate you, you know, maybe we just do a couple sessions after. But I, I think it's valuable enough to, um, to make sure that you guys, you know, but I think going through this, I definitely think that you guys can, um, you know, hop in here, push some buttons, <laughs> click some buttons. Um, I, you know what, I'm going to make a note. So, I have a, uh, I have a document that I can send you guys. Um, I just wanted to make a note um, that I can send you guys. It's actually, you will see a printout of this whole page in two pages, and it actually will point to the sections you sort of need to do sooner than later. Um, so I can actually send you guys that um, in, in that along with maybe even you know, kind of pinpointing this section of the of the recording in rewatching it, and then sort you can pause it and then go in and do some stuff. Um, but again, you guys you guys get my email, so you have my email and you have my cell, so don't hesitate to to reach out. Um, yeah, I'll definitely talk about um, some direct mail. So let me just finish this page, and before I start the CM piece, I'll, I'll kind of give you guys some ideas of, about direct mail. Happy to do that. Um, so yeah, so we can just, you know, literally just ask for a review, um, you know, from anybody in our system. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you one person and in, in how easy it is to ask that, um, you know, just so you guys know. And probably the last, this is the last section, but it, it's, it's very, it's very, very important. So this is kind of where you get to brag about yourself. So, you know, you may not have, a, you know, a lot of experience. Um, so you're not going to put, hey, I've been in real estate, you know, three months, you know, um, but but things you can put for experiences, if you had any previous sales experience, if you, you know, anything that you've done to kind of, you know, lead to where you are today. Um, you know, my experience, I'm a part of, um, you know, a team of, of 100 agents, you know, and you don't have to be a teammate with them, but you know, the hundred agents in your office or in the Cincy market or in the Columbus market, you know, we can get you a number and you can be, you know, I have an awesome team that I work with. Um, again, it doesn't have to be a teammate, but, but saying that you're with a team shows that, you know, that, you know, if you needed some help, they're there for you, you know, so you can kind of build that my experience piece. Um, so I just, 
you know, so I'm, I'm, you can see where I'm labeled under my experience. If I hit add new, this is meant to be just bullet points. So I'm not writing a paragraph here. So I'll just put, um, you know, uh, I would, I would be more, you know, detailed or whatever, but you know, I, it, you know, I wouldn't just do that, but if I just did that now agent for 12 years will show up under my experience. So, and you'll just see it's a bullet point. That's really all I want to do is, is sort of one liners. So then I come over for credentials and memberships. Well, guess what? You know, you are a member of the National Association of Realtors. You are a member of the Southwest Florida Board, you know, MLS or since you're, you know, whatever one you're, you know, I mean, anything that you've done, um, you know, to, to get to this point. So you can quickly add to that. Um, you know, pretty simple to, and then as you start maybe getting some, you know, different educational pieces, you know, you can learn, you know, you can earn some cr different credentials and things, but you can start with those two. And that would mean a lot. And then ju just as important, if not more important than the other two is you got a chance to say how you're involved with the community. So like, Hey, I'm selling in, in, you know, Westerville, Columbus area or in Grove city or wherever, like, you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a member of this church. I'm a member of the, I'm a, I'm a Girl Scout or Boy Scout, or I teach high school soccer or I'm a youth soccer, you know, so, you know, you don't, you don't teach or, or, well, you don't coach youth soccer. You coach the Grove City Community Youth Soccer League, you know, like bring in the Grove City all the way through, or, or again, whatever town you're in. So um, you're a member of this club, that club, you're a member of a, you know, the Lake Club or, or a boating club, or, I mean, anything you can add to this, especially if you can bring it local, um, you know, um, you know, bring in, if you're into horses, bring in to, if you're a, you know, into fishing, like whatever you are, cause this is a shot for me to have a connection with you. So I kind of get down to this point and in, in, if I, you know, like, I'm not going to not use you if you're into horses and I'm not like, I don't like horses. I'm not using the net, you know, but I'll be, you know, I'm going to be like, Hey, look, she's in horses, you know, um, but I'm going to learn a little bit more about you. So I'm not going to, you know, like, so, so kind of find what you are comfortable putting in here, but, but put everything you can, if you were a coach, if you were a member of this, you know, you know, whatever. So, you know, again, just hit plus add, you know, sort of a, you know, in one line, you know, youth soccer coach, Grove City youth soccer coach and save it. And then add another one that says, you know, Grove City football coach, you know, whatever, you know, just, just add, you know, add all of them, um, you know, so that you're, you know, so, so that, that, that's a chance to be personal. That's a chance to be local And both of them are crucial, crucial to someone um, sort of buying into you and in, in wanting to work with you or, or, you know, thinking like, Hey, yeah, I'm in, you know, rather than me getting to this page, looking at it and going like, I don't know, I, I, I can't figure anything out about Annette. Like I went to her website and you know, saw a picture and, you know, this little bit, but, you know, the more we add to this, the more we have a chance to, to show them, you know, sort of who we are in that, yes, I am a, I'm a local agent. I'm not two hours away that, you know, and I'm going to come in just for you. I, I know, I know this market and I'm, I'm local. So super important for that. So, um, you know, kind of quick down through that, but, you know, kind of like Betty said, you know, like without doing anything, you know, this page doesn't look horrible, but I need to add to it to, to, to make it me and, and have someone learn more about me and then go, oh, hey, I'll work with, you know, I'll work with Betty. Um, but at any point, you know, after you get done with this, you can, you can fix, you know, you can do your personal statement, save it, and then come up and view my website. So anytime, you know, you click this, you will see what your website looks like to the public, you know, and then obviously, like I said, this, this is, a, this is a company version just cause I don't sell in Ohio. Um, but you know, you can be like, Oh, great. You know, there's my, I linked my Facebook and, and obviously because this is a company, no other agents would appear on yours, just you. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, you know, but Hey, this is, this is where it would say, Hey, this is where I work, where I told you to fix those areas served. Um, you know, you can link your link our blog to this so it posts automatically and, you know, so it, it looks, you know, it's a very attractive website. Um, and, and just to just to be clear, two things with this. So, well, three, you have a chance to go down that page and make it your own. And I can't stress that you did not have to be like, 
hey, John, can you change my bio and then send it to someone and then wait, like, oh, gee, I wonder when he's going to fix my bio and then get a bill for it. Like, I can just go in there and like adjust that stuff and be like, man, I'm done. You know, I'm good for now. I'm going to check it, you know, three months from now and make sure it's good. Um, I can change it whenever I want. Um, but but just kind of knowing that that's the option. Um, this, this page is, I, I mean, I can't stress another piece is that it is Google driven. So, you know, um, you know, and, and the second, the third thing is, is, you know, again, traveling the country, dealing with agents that are, you know, up here to new agents, like, and when I say up here, you know, selling, you know, stupid amount of real estate, you know, and I've heard it from everybody like, well, I want to create my own page because I need like 15 pages. And, you know, I, I will never, you know, I'm never going to be like, uh, no, that's stupid. You know, like, you know, it's up to you. I, I really, you know, I don't care. But I will tell you that this page being as Google driven it is, as it is, if you like, what does someone want if they go to a real estate website? I mean, are they really looking for 15 pages so they, you know, they can get, you know, everything? Or do they really want what we see right here in this middle? They want to look for a house, you know, <laughs> they're, you know, I mean, any info we can give them is a bonus, but they want to look for a house. So they want to click, they don't want to click a button to, you know, to be like, okay, I need to click a button, then get to, the, they want to see this bar right here where I can just go, you know, like I'm looking in, you know, Cincinnati, <laughs> find me what's available. And obviously they can, you know, dig down deeper and stuff. So, you know what I mean? But that's what they want. So just kind of always realize the, you know, the, the, the that piece of it is huge. So, and I, I, I swear I did not do this prior and, and I don't know what's gonna happen here, but I, I just kind of want to show you, um, you know, when I say Google driven um, and I have to, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna use Betty, but um, I'm gonna have to just, so if, if I Google Betty and I'm just gonna add ERA, so, or, or realtor, but I'll do ERA, um, so, I don't know Betty or someone just said, hey, Betty's an agent, you know, use, you know, at least talk to her or, you know, Betty gave me her card and I was like, well, let me kind of Google Betty quick here and kind of see what, you know, what pops up. So, I mean, I don't know if I, and I have not met Betty. So Bet I don't know if Betty's, you know, new in the business. I don't know if she's been in the business 30 years. I don't know if she had a career for 30 years prior. Like I have no idea. So I don't know if she's got other sites, but when I just go to Google, you know, look what website comes up first. And if you find me one that doesn't come up first, I, you know, I, I'll be amazed. So there's Betty's website. And it was the very first thing when I Googled her. You know, so, so just, you know, when I say this, you know, like if, you know, like someone will Google you, someone will be like, geez, you know, let me just, let me Google this and that, or, or Molly Westfall, you know, whatever, like they're going to, you know, let's stick your name in it. And they're not going, you know, Molly Westfall, uh, you know, they're not typing like three sentences. They're going like Molly Westfall. And, you know, and obviously like someone like Betty Johnson could get, you know, it could be, I don't even know, a million Betty Johnsons in the world, but some names are a little bit more, um, you know, unique. But so I, that's kind of why I added that ERA to, 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 to pinpoint it. But that again, just kind of showing you guys I mean, that, that's exactly what, kind of what I expected to see um, was for her to show up first. So, you know, it, it kind of goes back to that page and how important it is to have that page. Like, so you know, I mean, if I found Betty, if someone just told me today to Google her and I got to that page and Betty has, you know, if she had not done her bio, if, you know, if this was blank, you know, I'd be like, oh, well. I mean, I see that even, you know, I don't really know much more about her, you know, I mean, she's added this. So you're kind of seeing, you know, that she's got some credentials and membership, you know what I mean? Like, but, but if this, you know, like if that wasn't here and she didn't have this turned on and she didn't even at least have a Facebook, this thing would be almost blank. Well, guess what? You know, I'm jumping ship, you know, I, I can't, you know, I don't even know anything about, I can't even find anything out and they're not going to call you to ask, guess what? They're going to go find another agent. So super important that we go down 
um, you know, go down this page and, and do everything we can um, to tweak it, add a video, you know, connect one or two or whatever socials you can, you know, make sure we go down that page. Um, I am going to. Does anybody have any questions? So I'm going to talk about direct mail just for a few minutes and then I'm going to get into the sort of the CRM piece um, of, of Zap real quick. So, I mean, options for direct mail. Um, you know, again, I'm not a huge spender of money. Um, you know, I, again, I, I will if I think it's, you know, going to be worth it. I apologize. I'm, it's getting dark and all of a sudden I feel like I'm pitch black to you guys. Um, but uh, um, so direct mail, um, handwritten notes. Um, I love handwritten notes. So you're not going to do them you know, once a month per se, especially if the, you know, if you're doing a lot of them, uh, but handwritten notes is an option. Postcards are an option. Um, you know, there are options at the, at the, um, with the post office, um, you know, online, you know, there's different options to do um, what we call almost what we call a direct mail, but it's, it's, um, it's a, it's a bulk version of it. So let's just say you wanted to send something to um, kind of what it goes back to is, is the mailman leaves the post office and, and has a certain number of folks and drives this area in the up and down streets. So you could actually go, I want to send one piece of mail to his whole mailbox, uh, you know, his whole, his del whole delivery spot. Um, you know, in, in what that is, is that instead of 55 cents or whatever it costs to mail something now, I mean, the cost could go down to 15 cents a piece or 20 cents a piece, you know, something like that. And he just gets a stack and just throws one in every mailbox. Um, so those are an option to get something out to the, you know, to the folks, um, but yet have it be a, a, a more reasonable cost than thinking I'm going to mail, you know, 100 at 55 cents. I'm going to do that eight times, you know, for I can do 100 people at 20 cents. In eight times, you know, you cut your cost almost in a third, you know, to a third. So, um, so those are an option. So, um, you know, um, newsletters. So there are there are platforms where you can go sign up and pay for a newsletter to be sent to your folks. So um, they kind of design it. It's all sort of real estate related. Some some topics that are valuable. Um, so that's an option to to potentially do that. Um, you know, and just have you know send them a hundred people and have. Um, uh, you know, um, you know, these hundred people get the newsletter, it gets sent out every month and it's branded to you and, um, you know, kind of, uh, um, you know, just another option. So are you talking about um, the direct mailing piece, the 20 cent piece? Yeah, like how, how effective are those? I was thinking about doing that in my area and like just in, the, if, if I can, like that specific zip code. Yeah, it, you know, in reality, you know, if I'm posting something online, if I'm doing a direct mailing, if I'm doing a handwritten note, you know, it, it matters what's what's on the, the direct mail. So if I'm, you know, if I'm sending like a lot of folks send out, you know, recipes and stuff like, you know, I'm not against it, but, you know, I mean, send me some stats. So, you know, anything, you know, if you do, it doesn't matter if I spend 55 cents or 20 cents. It can be effective, but it matters on what's what's on it. So if I was doing something like for the, you know, like a direct mail, you know, I might, whether it's a, a maybe a larger postcard, so maybe not a small one. So if you did a larger one or even did an eight by 10, but maybe did it front and back. So it's not pages. You don't have to stuff things in envelope or whatever. Just kind of make it simple. Um, but yet have that be, um, you know, front is is a, you know picture of the neighborhood and some stats or whatever in the back you know i mean a little bit about you like it matters what's on it versus you know it matters what's on it and how many and how many times i do it versus anything else so it doesn't matter if you spend the 55 or 20 but but you know and i'm a firm believer of stats and linking yourself to the community so you know what's going on in the community what's um uh um sorry i'm gonna quit Turn this light on so I'm, maybe I'm not as not as dark, you guys. Um, you know, but again, it just matters what's you know what's on it. So, and again, 
happy to chat with you, you know, anybody that's, you know, kind of wanting to do something like that to, to come up with a plan. Um, but again, you can't just send one either. I mean, you can send one and get lucky and be like, hey, I think, you know, got something from it. The idea is this, if you kind of do it and, and then if you do it cheaper, the 20 cent piece or what, you know, whatever it is, then you're actually, you know, you can send three for the cost of one and then stuffing envelopes, um, you know, and then maybe you send out six. Um, and, and spread them out enough so that they get one and they're like, oh yeah, you know, oh yeah, you know, but yet each time it's got some, some valuable pieces to it, um, you know, um, community, like, hey, this is a, this is the schedule for the next two months, you know, whatever. I mean, it just depends on where you're sending them and then stats, so. Hopefully that helped you. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. No, no, absolutely. All right, so I am going to um, just come back to the dashboard. So you'll see, um, again, you know, for anybody that has kind of played around this or, or not, um, upper left, you know, anytime you just kind of click in here, it just brings you back to the kind of the home dashboard. So we got 20 minutes left and I wanna just talk about the, the steer. Actually, you know what, I apologize. I'm gonna actually go back to the My Website page in with, just so you know, without doing a thing, other than if you send them a link to your mobile app, they'll, they, they might find your website. So um, the mobile app does not need a thing to be sent out. So you can send it out right now and people will see your, you know, can see your face and look for every house in the MOS. So you can do that. But knowing that they might be like, hey, let me check out your website. You, you, you know, you, again, you kind of want this page done. Um, so if someone finds it, so, um, you know, this, so I'm, I just went back to that, my website page in this link right here, see it's mobile app URL. If I just copy that, if I text that to someone, if I email it, um, if I go on social and post it and go, Hey, check out my mobile app. If, you know, and obviously the goal is, is if anyone does that on their phone, smartphone, of course, if they click that link they will go to the app store. They will be asked to download what looks like, you know, obviously it doesn't have our picture on it at the app store. It's an ERA app. But when they click that and download it, when they open it up, they will see your face. And, and they have a, you know, obviously we'd love them to register at that point and then we're really connected to them. Um, but the fact is, is then, you know, again, this is just kind of a side note. Um, I really don't have, you know, besides inaccurate information, I really don't have an issue with Zillow. Um, I don't have an issue with Realtor.com, you know, or any other site. My issue with Zillow, Realtor.com is, guess what? If my client goes there, they get to see all the homes. I granted, love it, whatever. They see other agents. I do not want a client. I don't want a potential client. I don't want anybody, if, if, if they're going to, you know, if I have a shot to work with them, I do not want them seeing other agents, period. So, you know, so just know you have a mobile app that has every house available in the MLS. It actually feeds directly from the MLS. So it's accurate. Um, you know, besides, an, you know, an agent has to put a, a, a property pending. If they don't put it pending, we're, you know, we're not going to, we can't, you know, we don't know. Um, but we have this mobile app that if we share with folks is branded to me. So then I start, you know, then I get folks to go to it and I share it and I have everybody looking on this versus the other ones. Guess what? You know, they always see my face and, and they don't see another agent's face. So, you know, so again, super important that, you know, that we know this exists. So again, you could copy this and send it out right now. And there, you know, there is no bio page and anything on that. So it's for somebody that, you know, hey, like, hey, here's my mobile app, you know, log in and, and you know, check out every house available. Um, you know, so you can just do that. But just know if, if you do send this to someone, you know, they may go, hey, let me check out your website. And again, you know, kind of making sure this page is done. Um, so when they find it. So again, just wanted to make sure, click your name, my website, um, you know, obviously this is your website URL you can share, and then this is your mobile app. Okay, 
So I'm going to just now have 15 minutes to do. So we will do another session with this, guys. I, I know, um, hopefully this is helpful, but um, and I know it's a lot, um, you know, to kind of throw at you, but that page super important. Um, of course, you know, starting to work with folks, um, you know, just as important. So um, home dashboard, I'm going to, I'm just going to kind of show you a couple things. So um, obviously, if let's just say I have no one in this system right now. Um, uh, oh, appreciate that, Melissa. So I want to add one person or, hey, I have my file. It's got, you know, 50 people in it. I'm not done yet, but let me get the 50 in there. You know, you'll see this plus add right here. So if I just click this plus add, you'll see new contact. And then if I just hover over that to the right, you see, oh, I can add one person or I can import contacts. So there, there's how, you know, if I do individual, and obviously if I have, you know, if I have 50 people, I am not doing it individually. But if I want to add three people, I can quick go through here and add them, you know, first name, last name, whatever, you know, I need at least an email or a phone number. So I do need one of them to, to get them into the system. So, you know, just kind of realizing that. And then if I, believe me, if I have this info, um, obviously I can do it in the, in one, on the spreadsheet once, but again, if I'm adding them one, just, I got one person, you know, if I know their address, if I, if I know any of this information, you know, take the time to do it because that's going to just, that's just going to be in the system and you don't have to go find them and add something later. So, um, you know, just kind of know, you know, that that's sort of adding that one person. If I come back up here and do import, what this does is, you know, I can actually, if I use Google, if I use Gmail, I can actually just grab those folks. So that's one option. Um, but here's this CSV file. So this is sort of that spreadsheet, like, hey, I got 10 people and I got 30 people, I got 50 people, you know, um, you know, they're all here. So I can grab, grab one file and bring it all in. So this is kind of where I can do, you know, when I get to a certain number and feel like, okay, let me get these in there and then I'll keep adding to it. Um, you know, you can do that one thing. So one thing I want to show you super important is, you know, the easiest way to do this file here is that it's, it, you know, every time you download something. So if I went to Gmail um, and said, I want to export my contacts, that spreadsheet, first name, last name is, is like 234 columns wide. It's crazy all the data that, that might be in there. I'm like, man, I do not need all that, you know? So if you just, you know, hit plus add, import contacts, get to this page, you'll see right below this, it says sample CSV file. When you see I hover over it, you know, it sort of changes, it's clickable. So if I just click that real quick, and hopefully you guys can see this. I know sometimes when I swap screens, um, if you guys, you guys can see that Excel spreadsheet, correct? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Just wanted to make sure. So this is the exact format that if I put my folks in either into this spreadsheet or when I have mine done, you know, make it look like this, I can bring this, this CSV file into Zap without doing a thing, without saying, oh, you know, move in columns and things. So yeah, I don't, I don't see it. everything that, you know, in that, you know, when I added the one person and I had a chance to add the birthday and the address and all that information, all of this is here. So I could kind of just be like, you know, if you have one, if you wanted to get it in this format and then continue, or if you haven't started, I would just use this format. And again, are you, show, are you showing the uh, spreadsheet? You can't see it. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to go wherever and, you know, and just add them here. And then when I get done with this, it's like, now I can, now I can just bring it into Zap just like that. Um, so, and again, as you know, I'll scroll over a little bit and you can see, you know, we, we go to why, <laughs> and this is if we're adding, you know, um, you know, a partner to it and, and you could just obviously add one person, but, um, you know, just, just a way in, just so you guys know real quick, these tags. So I could do um, so many things I could put on here. You know, I could do friend. Um, I could do church. You know, there, there's someone I know from church. Um, I can put, um, you know, um, the, the town they're in. I, you know, I can say they're from hockey. Uh, whatever, whatever tags, you have a chance to add three tags. And what tags do is it allows you to find them later inside. So when I add 300 people in my zap and I'm like, I'm going to send an email to my church folks. 
you know, if you've tagged them church, you can go in there and grab the 20 people from out of the 300 that are tagged church and send one message to them. Um, so in, investors, a great one, um, you know, first time home buyers, whatever you wanted to tag them, um, you know, just allows you to, to search for them later um, in, with a click of a button. So, you know, so this, so I love this, you know, again, this is the format that just makes it super simple. And then, um, oh, okay. I'm going to, let me just quick. Sorry, I'm, I'm just seeing you guys say that. So I apologize. Let me stop a share and let me reshare. Now, can you guys see it? Okay, perfect. So I'll, I'll go over this again real quick. So this is the this is the format that um, you know that that the sample format that if it's in this format, you can just upload it into Zap in a second. And um, as I said, when when I went to add that individual contact, which you you know you don't you can do it once, but you want to add fifty people individual when you can do it once. Um, you know, this is all the data that you were able to add. So their home address, you know, um, their, their birthday, you know, their anniversary date. Um, and what I was just talking about were these tags. So, you know, I can have 50 people on here. And if I just take a second to go like, and my goal is, is like, where do, like, how do I know John? Oh, John's a friend. John's a family member. Um, I know John from church, you know, um, John's an investor. You know, like whatever they are, you have a chance to add these three tags right here um, to, to help pinpoint who they are. So the advantage is, is you have, you know, 300 people in here and you got 20 friends and you got, you know, 20 from church and you got 30 from hockey and you got, you know, all these different things. At any point, you can just go, hey, I want to email just these folks. I want to e reach out to just these folks. You can sort them and, and grab just a small group instead of like searching through like, I need to find my investors, because, you know, I got an investment property. So, so if you, you know, if you have started a spreadsheet, um, I, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, feel free to reach out. I, I say it's easy. It, it, you know, I'm not, you know, a, a expert by any means in Excel. Um, but, you know, if you kind of have the two of them, you know, in, in tabs down here, you know, you can be like, hey, let me copy. You know, this is my spreadsheet. Let me copy these folks. And then come into this file and then paste them, you know, and then they'll, you know, then you bring them over. Or if you haven't started your spreadsheet yet, you know, I would just start here. Um, and as I'm typing them in here, um, you know, everybody's all in one spot. And then I can, you know, kind of work on as much of this information I can. Um, and when you're ready or able or want to, you know, you know, you can have five people, you can have 10 people, you can have 50 people. Um, when you're ready, you'll be able to, you know, just grab this file. Um, actually, let me, I'm gonna make sure that you guys can see this. So, um, come back here, you know, grab, you know, so that file's done and it's got however many people, you know, I just simply click upload a CSV file. And what it does is it pulls up all these folks and, you know, I saved one of them that says, you know, Wayne's contacts or whatever. You know, I just simply grab that file um, and then there's two steps, but then all those people come into Zap just like that. Can you show us again where you went? Did you go to share or did you go to that arrow? Above? For, when you were in that um, Excel spreadsheet. To get to the Excel spreadsheet? No, I know how to get to it. I'm at the spreadsheet, but you said to share it. Once you enter everybody in this fresh sample yep. sheet. Yeah, so so let me, yep. yep. So how did you share it? Like how yeah, did you get me, it uh, into that? So so just just real quick, when I come back to the spreadsheet, you know, like hey, I put my folks in it and I'm you right. know, ready to do something, you know, what I'll do is just save this. You know, so so you know, I'll just save this as, you know, and, and again, I'll okay. just you know. You know, I'll just put Wayne on there. Okay, so, fresh. So, okay. Yep. So save it. So once I save it, I'm like, okay, it's you know, I've I've done it. I'm happy with what's on there at least for now. You know, I want to I want to get it into Zap. So once I've done that piece, uh huh. Now I just now I'm into Zap. You know, 
and and not well just to just to start i would you know i would come into zap and i'd be like hey i have my spreadsheet i'm going to import contacts so i do plus add new contact. okay wait i gotta click out of this click out of this yep and then go back into zap okay wait wait damn okay right and then hit plus add at the top mm -hmm. new contact and then import, import. okay and then this, and then it's, you know, I, that thing saved as a CSV file. So now it says upload a CSV file. Okay, gotcha, I'm gonna, gotcha. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to find, well, because it was the last one, I'm going to find Wayne. And then I can just do two clicks and actually upload, upload that. Okay, gotcha. But happy to help you with that because there, you know, it does look kind of goofy when you go to do it. But because you put it in that format, you can, you can just move right in and, and upload them, folks. So now... Obviously, we have five minutes, so believe me, um, I, I will either redo this or, or do something separate with you guys so that we can make sure you guys get this. So, um, so I've uploaded folks when I, you know, I told you I was working with a bu bunch of folks. So now all of these folks are in here, and you know, like I said, I can start working them. So I'm just going to click on one person just to kind of give you a, just a general feel. So whether you uploaded the, or, or typed this person in once or uploaded, you know, this one person as, uh, you know, in that Excel spreadsheet as, as one of your 200, whatever it is, you know, the, you know, now I see this, this is one person and this is kind of their profile. So I'm able to just, you know, kind of see, you know, all what they're doing. Um, you know, the, the advantages is I can actually see if they're looking at homes, what homes they're looking at. Um, you know, it, it tracks kind of things they're doing. Um, but I can actually, so you can see this log a call is, is sort of blocked out. So this person doesn't have a phone number in the system. So I can't log a call, but I could send an email. So if I just go, eh, let me send an email. Yeah, you know, like it brings it up, you know, I can send an email. It puts your email script at the bottom. You know, it does everything. So I'm just ready to send an email. You know, I can add a reminder. So I can go, hey, um, call M um, Tuesday, you know, and then put a, put a date to say, hey, you know, remind me to do that um, the seventh and it says call Tuesday. So tomorrow I got to call them, you know. So again, just, just dip, you know, I'm kind of going through this quick, but, you know, you guys can play around with this and you could add yourself in the system um, and just add a, 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 use a personal email if you use your ERA.com, it, it's sort of looking like, hey, you're an agent and you're a person. So, you know, if you have a Gmail or something, add yourself and kind of play around with it and send yourself some stuff. Um, you know, and then one other thing is if you hit this more button, you know, there's a bunch of things you can do. So, you know, again, kind of knowing that, um, you know, ask for a review. So you add someone and, and you know, they're a you know, there's someone that you worked with previous, they're a, a you know, a teacher friend, they're, they're somebody professional, be like, hey, you know, hey, Annette, I'm going to send you a link, would you take a second to review me, you know, sort of as a character thing. So again, you know, ask for review, um, I can share my mobile app link, so I can send them a link to my mobile app, I can send them an email to my website. Um, so again, just just kind of playing around with this. What, when we get in a little bit deeper, we, we'll know that we can assign this person um, a drip campaign that sends emails automatically. Um, we can add a listing alert through this system that will send them, you know, hey, I'm looking for three bedroom, two baths, um, things like that. So um, there's a, I mean, just a ton, ton that we can do in here, um, you know. Um, I, I kind of just want to throw it out there so you guys know, like, there's a reason why, you know, that we, we, we want to encourage you to use this. It's because, you know, it, it's made to help you um, stay in touch. But um, the last thing I'll kind of show you, and then um, I'm, I'm going to probably email you guys and sort of get your advice on on how you want a little bit more of this, because um, I know this was a lot, I know, but it's so important, and I know there's so much more. So, um, but but the last thing I want to show you is is what Zap is is. I, the, the piece I absolutely love, along with everything we've shown you, is that when I get folks in there and I am starting to engage them, so I send them an email, I they're on a listing alert, what it actually does is ranks them. So you'll see M Hall's at a 99. If I hover over that, it'll actually tell me what, you know, 
what what Monty, I guess I'll call it Monty, has been doing to, to say, why is, why is Monty a 99? Well, Monty has logged into our website three times this week. So the idea is, is when you get 200 people in there and can't just always know what all 200 are, Zap's going to actually tell you like, yeah, why don't you just focus on these three? Because they're actually looking at homes and they can be people that have not reached out to you that if not, you know, like that's one thing that you'll realize is, is, you know, our clients aren't going to reach out to you and go, oh, by the way, Matt, I was looking at homes last night, just wanted to let you know, <laughs> you know, they're, they're just kind of doing their thing. So, um, you know, but the idea is, is if they're using our website, our mobile app, you know, we know what they're doing and we know if we should reach out to Elaine. Should I reach out to Elaine? Well, it's Wednesday. This starts on Sunday and Elaine's been on our website four times. You know, she could be bored or she could be looking for a house, you know, and, and the idea is, is, is Elaine could be just someone that you haven't thought about in months that you, you know, had no idea that Elaine was looking for a house or thinking about selling. Um, we, we just don't know. So th this actually will take our clients um, and just and just tell us what they're doing with them. So. So Nancy loves the mobile app. She's been our, she was on the mobile app 18 times last week, you know, requested to see two homes. Like, well, you know, if Nancy didn't reach out to me and say, I want to see th these two homes, if she did it on my website, I got to log in there and, you know, check it out. So again, all, you know, it's just so valuable that, you know, that all this data is just right at our fingertips. Um, once we get the folks in there and we start engaging them. And the idea is, is let's engage them with email drips that are sent out automatically. That's one less thing I got to do. Let's put them on a listing alert and it goes automatically. That's one less thing I got to do. And then my focus goes to, hey, I'm going to text five today. Um, I'm going to, you know, call five today. I'm going to, you know, handwritten notes for five today, you know, whatever that is, um, you know, on top of it but let's do whatever we can and have it just automatically happen, um, you know, so that they are getting something from me along with, and then I'm going to do something else on, you know, at a different level. Um, you know, that, that's the key behind using a system like this. And then the, the, the fact that, you know, when I get my folks in there, you know, I can just sort of like, Hey, I'm going to log in this app today. And I mean, I know I should reach out to five people today, but, this thing's going to tell me like, hey, reach out to those five, but y'all better reach out to these five too, because they're looking for houses, you know, and that's the idea behind using, a, you know, this system, um, you know, to help you, help you, um, you know, when you can get easily sidetracked, you can get caught up with like two buyers and a seller and you're going crazy. Well, tell me that you don't, you know, that you don't want to know that three people, three other people are looking for houses, you know, so that, that's kind of the key behind it. So <laughs> I know, you know, I mean, I get passionate about this just because I, you know, I know the system and, and know what I've seen it do for folks. So, um, you know, that's a lot. I, I know it. Um, and I know, you know, some folks are like, whoa, and some are like, give me more, you know, and I get it. So um, just know, you know, this, this was a piece to get, get it in front of you. Um, log in, play around with it. Um, come back with questions. Tell me what you need. You know, you guys, I, I will do a separate session for you guys um, and, take, and do this again, take a deeper dive with it, take it to the next level, you know, whatever you guys need, um, you know, to, to, to again, just to, this is kind of one of those systems that, you know, it's going to, you know, you, you, you don't just start using it tomorrow, like get your, get your spreadsheet in place, you know, get, a, get as much data on there as you can, get them in here, then let's work them. Um, you know, then we're working them properly and, and we got all the data we need to, to make it work best for us. So, um, but super valuable, um, you know, um, even if it's a month from now when we get to you know, the point where you're using it, or if it's tomorrow or two months from now, you know, if, if you're using it properly two months from now, it's better than you using it tomorrow, like, you know, haphazardly and, and you know, not with a, a purpose in mind. So. Okay, I have a question. So I just added a new contact. Um, that I is of course there's no contact in my um, in here, so if I just send her a welcome email, would that allow me then to start putting her on a drip campaign, or would it just introduce her to my, would it send her my my uh, this 
where she can log onto my website. So that that welcome email is a link to your website. Okay. So, you know, in, in you know, here's a generic um, little blurb. You know, if it's someone you knew and you're like, you know, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of you know whatever you put in here, you know, you know. Hey, John, you know, if you want to make it personal and you can type whatever you want in there or you can use the generic one. And if I hit, sorry, I'm going to move you guys over, you know, hit send email. What this does is, is sends them a link saying, hey, here's my website. Check it out. Create your password. Um, you know, and let me know what you think. And that just gets them to your website. Um, just realize the second you add someone, I'm going to back here. The second you add someone, if you have their email, you could put them on, you know, you could either send an email or put them on a drip campaign. So as you know, soon as they get in there, if I just scroll down and, and again, scroll down here, kind of get used to what the format is, um, you know, and I'm just kind of going slow. So you guys see it right here. You know, there's, a, I can add a reminder down here. I can add a home value update, which is if they're a homeowner, it kind of gives them a, an, a snapshot of what's happening in their market. So when I click on send email, it doesn't say welcome email. It just says send email. And it's, it's not giving me like those welcome things. So if, if you hit send an email, it's a regular email. You come over to more and then that down, that down. More, there's I, don't, I don't see that. So okay, let me let me back out of here because I'm not I'm not seeing that. Hold on one second. Okay. So I'm back at her name. So hit the more button. I just say I just say send email. Send an email. I don't see where it says more or anything. So I just added her as a contact now. She's a new contact. And over here, it says no contact, as if I didn't contact her at all. I get that orange, no contact. So under actions, it has log a call, send email, add note. That's all I'm seeing. Oh, are you, you're on the homepage? I'm in my Zap contacts. So actually click her name. Okay. And then come to her profile. And then you should see what I'm seeing on my screen where it says log a call, send an email, add a reminder, and then more. Yes, I see. Send an email, add a reminder, more. Okay. And then oh, under good. more is send a welcome email. Okay, gotcha. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Yep. So real quick, I'm going to just finish this. So, you know, like, like Betty was saying, you know, she added someone. I got an email. What can I do? You can add a listing alert. You're like, you know. Monty's looking for three bedrooms, two bath in this zip code. You know, you can add that and it gets sent automatically. And then you are tracking if they open up that email, um, what they're doing, you know, if they are logged into your website or your mobile app, you know, anything like that. And then scrolling down through here, follow up plan. These are what we call the drip campaigns. So there are drip campaigns in there that are built that you can just grab that are two, two and a half years long that are just very generic that you can assign to someone and they get sent out automatically. So, you know, there's so much that you can do in here, but um, you know, for now, you know, log in, click around, you know, play around with it. Um, you know, just know until we do something, I swear, the last thing I'm gonna say, um, hit support, visit the Zap community. So on the left-hand menu, support, it says visit Zap community. This is a full-fledged, um, you know, videos, tips, tricks, um, you know, tons of things in the videos. Most of them, unless you kind of get into one of the in-depth ones, max an hour. Some of them are two to five minutes long. Like, hey, how do I add a contact? Three-minute video, you know, just to get in there and do it. And then, oh, how do I send a review? Three minutes, you know, as you're kind of playing around with it. So, um, so again... You know, lots and lots and lots in here, but support, visit Zap community, brings you up to this page and you can click around and just get, you know, you know, questions answered, you know, certainly little videos in there. Ooh. All right, that, 
Um, so Matt, uh, well, <laughs> there, there isn't a difference. There's no difference between sending a, well, I mean, there is, but it, it sends the same thing. So if there's three homes to send from the MLS, if I do it in the MLS or if I do it in ZAP, um, the difference is, is if I send it from the MLS, I mean, it's, it's branded, you know, it, you know, it kind of comes from you. Um, but I don't, I don't know, you know, I mean, okay, some MLS is kind of, you know, let you know if you check like, hey, they opened it, um, whatever, um, you know, but, but if you send them from Zap, you will know if they opened it because their Zap score will change. Um, you know, if they will, if they open it up and there are three homes in it, if they click one of them, it will actually say they viewed that house. They actually are able, and this is again something I'm just kind of throwing this out there just so you know about it. It's it will be, you know, it can be a training that I kind of go through and show you guys. But if I send it from Zap and there are three homes, I click one, two, three Main Street. I'm like, oh hey, let me, you know, great pictures and things. So as an agent, I know they opened it and I know they clicked one, two, three Main Street. And with one click from that email, they can say, I want to see it. Or they can say, I have a question for Matt in whichever one of those, if they click it, come directly to you. So you'll be like, Hey, John says he's, you know, you know, wants more information on one, two, three main street. Well, John was able to do that by just opening up that email, you know, looking at the listing saying, I want to see it, or I have questions. And then that coming directly to you without Matt, you know, getting the MLS and then, you know, not, not the, you know, not the worst thing in the world, but your client grabbing it. You're like, Oh, Hey, Matt, I have questions about one, two, three Main Street, you know, um, and then an advantage on top of is it when you get John's question, like, hey, Matt, I got questions on one, two, three, th one, two, three Main Street, you get the entire listing. So you're not like one, two, three Main Street, what property is that? How do, how do I even know? You know, I mean, you kind of, so it, it's sort of going full circle, but the main thing for me is, is it's branded to the hilt when I send it from Zap and I don't have to go anywhere and look in, in like, you know, kind of figure out like, man, you know, all these people are on MLS drips and like, man, they're not reaching out to me. Like, how do I know, you know, if they're looking at them, if they like them, if, you know, unless they reach out to me, um, at least if I send it from Zap, I see they open the email. I see if they clicked one, two, three Main Street. You know, I mean, if they didn't reach out to me, you know, it's up to me if I, you know, kind of say like, well, he, he opened the email, he clicked one of them. I don't know. Maybe I'll send him a text to see, you know, like, hey, you know, just wondering if you're seeing anything you like, you know, it's sort of triggering it. So same data going out um, for me, sending it from Zap allows us to, to be more connected with the client. Um, you know, again, completely, they actually end up on my website when they're, when I do it from Zap and they click on it, um, you know, and then of course I can actually see what they're doing as well. So that, that's, you know, that's sort of that difference, but um, we can certainly get more in depth with that, um, you know, in, in a session. So, all right, um, <laughs> great stuff. I, I I really really appreciate the. Yeah, I got to go too. So, um, I appreciate you guys hanging out, especially we went longer. I appreciate you doing it on a Wednesday. So, um, thank you guys so much. Um, we will see you Saturday morning at nine thirty. Uh, just an hour and a half, nine thirty to eleven. Um, but thank you guys so much. Have a great night. And uh, please let me know if you have any questions. You guys are welcome. Thank you so much.